increased rate of coronavirus that has climbed to 168 million around the world, the National Primary Health Care Development Agency says it has begun administering the second dose, which has reached about 4,683 people. Addressing journalists at the press conference to update Nigerians on the status of the COVID-19 vaccine, the executive director of the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency, Dr. Fasal Shrahibu, says 1,929,237 representing 96% of the targeted population were vaccinated in the first phase. Dr. Schreibel also calls on Nigerians who have received their first dose to check their vaccination cards for the date of the second dose and ensure they receive the second dose to gain full protection against COVID-19. We have taken it up as our responsibility as scientists to provide the information. And this is why we will continue to communicate. We're working with the Federal Ministry of Information, the National Orientation Agency, and uh, you know, other nine ministries that are involved in this national effort to make sure that there's correct uh, communication around COVID-19. We understand that even before the vaccines came to Nigeria, there was already negative uh, information, you know, making the airways. But we will not relent. We will continue to provide the correct information. The World Health Organization and the United Nations Children Emergency Fund, UNICEF, were applauded for their massive support in providing technical support and resources. We're doing everything we can together with the commissioners of health and SPCDHA at state level in each of the states to identify those pockets which are difficult and how we can make sure that those uh, areas are covered. Um, at the moment, uh, the, the focus is trying to get the vaccine out to the frontline workers and to uh, those uh, compromised with comorbidities uh, and, and the elderly. But uh, as the campaign continues, so we will be addressing the, the one to one. There are also some other uh, information. You will have noticed that even the storage condition for some of the vaccine are being reviewed, including the, the, the Pfizer uh, uh, vaccine. Uh, which can be stored, uh, you know, after the virus, uh, after it has been taken for the protocol chain, it can be stored more than uh, five days the way it was before. So we monitor evidence closely to inform uh, policy, and that is Nigeria accordingly, like we do for other countries. Some notable companies have pleaded to provide 1 billion doses of their COVID-19 vaccine to low- and middle-income countries by the end of 2021, and another 1 billion dose in 2022. Johnson & Johnson has announced it has sealed a deal to provide 200 million doses of its vaccine to COVAX. Meanwhile, the International Monetary Fund is now advocating for a $50 billion fund to be spent on ensuring a faster rollout of COVID-19 vaccines globally and is calling for at least 40% of the global population to be vaccinated by the end of this year and at least 60% by June 2021. The fund will be used to increase COVAX vaccine coverage procure additional tests and expand vaccine production capacity. Additionally, the United States announced it will now donate 20 million vaccine doses by the end of June to the COVID scheme. As of the result of this from the Nigerian Center for Disease Control, NCDC, 16,619 cases have been confirmed with 2,067 deaths recorded in the 36 states and the Federal Capital Territory. Roots Ugu reporting for 24 News TV.